Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th, 30th, 1st, 2nd, whatever. Timing is fluid, right? Right on time. What do we have for a message today? reversed first card out so this is infertility lack of growth creative block we have somebody here that may be in some sort of pain they are suffering right now so they may be smothering a situation there could be jealousy possessiveness um, not taking care of things I may have somebody here that lacks self-value lacks self-worth there could be some sort of loss right now, feeling at a loss. There's some sort of infertility due to uh, not nurturing something, not taking care of something, maybe not taking care of oneself. We have somebody here that needs to get creative. They need to uh, dig deeper. They need to dig deeper within themselves. It's almost like we have somebody here that is wanting somebody to take care of them. This is somebody that is high maintenance that is looking for somebody to take care of them when they need to be taking care of themselves. And there could be a lack of growth or a lack of tender loving care because we have somebody here that isn't... Well, this is typically a motherly type of energy who doesn't take care of her children which is including yourself, doesn't take care of anything because of their, their own, too needy, isn't finding what is needed on the inside to nurture themselves. This is somebody that is very impatient, that doesn't wait, that doesn't, is very, very impatient. It's like, I want it now. Hmm. Queen of Cups reversed and the Seven of Swords reversed. There's some sort of heartbreak here. Like I, I mentioned pain, right? This is sad, heartbroken, at a loss, really in the emotions lack of self-love there's a we have somebody here that's not taking care of themselves they need to take care of themselves that's the truth okay it's time to take a new approach um there's a, there's there could be disillusionment here um there's there could be emotional manipulation there could be self manipulation somebody could be lying to themselves about something about the, their value their worth what they have to offer somebody may not even know what they have to offer there is some sort of manipulation here okay this could be emotional blackmail um you may have somebody here that is very, very, it's very sensitive, extremely sensitive, very, very needy. We also have somebody here that is being very wishy-washy. They may be scheming up something. 
Okay, there could be definitely some deceit here, cheating, lying. Um, somebody could also be getting caught doing something as well. There's a need to beware. Beware of emotional manipulation. Somebody be, could be trying to guilt trip somebody as well. Um, there's definitely... Um, I feel like we have somebody here who's trying to escape as well. It's like th there's some escape. And sometimes people try to escape situations by self-medicating. Okay? By drinking too much or doing too many drugs or eating too much or whatever. There's somebody maybe self-medicating. Um, there could be definitely cheating and lying. Um, somebody is closed off emotionally they're not giving love they're not nurturing a situation they be, may be emotionally withdrawn that's a form of manipulation it's kind of like the silent treatment and it, and it goes both ways sometimes a silent treat you need to be silent to heal but sometimes a silent treatment is used as a way to manipulate okay it definitely can be. It's like I'm not going to talk to you until I get my way. It feels like we have somebody here or somebody's trying to manipulate a situation to get their way. Um, so that's very interesting. There's emotions all over the place, put it that way. We may have somebody here that may see themselves as a victim and they're, they can't control their emotions right now as well. There's jealousy. There's some sort of jealousy. It feels like we have somebody here that is, uh, I don't know if they're plotting and planning something because they're heartbroken or because they can't create. They're not creating. They're, they, for some reason, they're, they're in pain. They're suffering. They're unable to create something. And there's some sort of lies or manipulation or deception involved. But I, I think it's self-deception. And, and we may have somebody here that's just in complete denial. Complete, complete, complete denial. have a sneeze. Sorry about that. There's jealousy. There's some sort of jealousy here. I think that we have somebody here that is very jealous. It's like they're scheming because of their jealousy or something like that. Temperance reverse. Something is off. This is going to extremes. Going overboard. Um, impatient, like I, I said it already, very impatient, frustrated, exhausted, pushing, 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 pushing too soon, too soon. It's not time. It's not time. And we have, but we have somebody here that's it's struggling to evolve. They're struggling to see the purpose. They're struggling to manage. Somebody's going overboard. They're not managing their emotions. They're not managing themselves. They may be definitely self-medicating. Um, we have a bad mix here. Unwilling to compromise. Uh, repeating negative patterns. Inappropriate behavior. We have somebody here that is, is uh, trying to force something. There's a forcefulness here. Maybe trying to see some, trying to force somebody to see something from their approach, their way, you know. Everybody's different. We all see things differently. We all do things differently. We all have different beliefs. But oftentimes people can't understand that we don't see things the same. So they try to force. They try to force their beliefs. They try to force their, their ways onto other people. So there's some sort of forcefulness here. We have somebody here that 
I don't know, there could be an illness. There we may have somebody here that is just not managing themselves. They're not managing things. They're not they're going overboard. They're going to extremes. Um, not in a good place at all. Very, very emotional. Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Something is definitely happening. We have somebody here that has been wounded. There's this is this is lack of healing. We have somebody here that profound self-healing is needed. Somebody needs to take time out. They're trying to push something when they should be refocusing on themselves. Okay, they need to focus on self-love. They need to take care of themselves, you know, instead of trying to force, instead of trying to push, instead of trying to, uh, I don't want to say self-medicate as well. It's like needy, needy, need, and need, and need, and need. There's a codependency here. Anyhow, the Nine of Wands is somebody that has a barrier up, that has some sort of fear, fear of getting hurt. This person has been hurt before, is very wounded. Um, they're really having a lot of deep, I want to say, thoughts and their thoughts are what is causing them to react the way that they're reacting okay we have somebody here that is really 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 struggling struggling to go in a new direction this is about taking action for yourself. This is about taking soul action. We have somebody here that is facing a lot of life challenges and they're struggling with accepting something. This is lack of acceptance. They're struggling to evolve. This Nine of Wands is a wounded individual who... has fought a lot of battles and is now very much I feel like there's some sort of pride involved here anyhow the wheel of fortune is the end of a cycle it's something happening it is some something is about to happen okay um, everything changes there's been some sort of delays Somebody's been repeating. They've been acting inappropriately. Two of Wands. Star reversed. Oh my God, why is this happening? There's a lack of hope. There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment, but you have you choose it. It's your choice. You can choose to keep your barriers up. You can choose to uh, hold on to something that makes you feel safe, or you can broaden your horizons. We have somebody that is definitely resisting resisting their new life. They're resisting. Uh, you know, there's a miracle that is waiting. There's a blessing that is waiting. But I feel like you, somebody's guard or somebody's fears is holding them back from the wish fulfillment that they're desiring, that they're thinking about. It's like, I really want this. I really want this. Well, you have to create it, right? You have to go in that new direction. You have to... be willing to take chances you have to be willing to there's a lack of belief somebody's faith is being tested there's self-doubt there's self-loathing there is and there's depression we have somebody here that is very depressed and they don't believe in themselves you need to believe in yourself if you want to have success or you want to step into new territory you have to believe in yourself believe in what you can create Anyhow, 
Anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events. It's something happening. It's something positive is happening. Something is happening, but it may be not exactly what you asked for because the star card is reversed. Okay, it's like something is happening, but and it's it leads to wish fulfillment, but it may not be what you asked for. That temperance, there's some sort of temperance reverse is hostilities, it's competing interests, it's somebody that is trying, and these are both forceful, so there's somebody that is being very forceful, and, but they're being challenged, they're being challenged to step forward, they're being challenged to step into new territory, they're being challenged to face their fears, but, and their, their faith is being tested. We have somebody here that is wounded, that is hurt, that is in the process of making a decision. Oh my God, the high priestess reversed. That's poor counsel, unawareness, lack of knowledge. There's something about femininity here as well. It feels like we have somebody here that's that is uh, not nurturing their feminine. They're not taking care of. They're not, there's there's a lack of love. There's definitely some sort of infertility here. Somebody's listening to poor counsel. They have been listening to poor counsel. It's caused nothing but challenges. They've been indecisive because of the poor counsel. They've been listening to somebody who's not very knowledgeable, somebody that doesn't really observe, doesn't really reflect, maybe goes by the book, isn't very intuitive. Maybe this person has secret agendas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four of Cups. Fool. Somebody's definitely ignoring their intuition. They are ignoring their intuition. They're listening to poor advice. They're listening to somebody that makes all of their decisions based on emotions rather than any type of logic or practicality. There's no logic or practicality here. None. We do have a sad farewell. We have somebody here that is turning their back on something that they have been ignoring. They're breaking free. Okay. They've been ignoring an opportunity, missing an opportunity. Um, there's an opportunity here that is definitely, somebody's reaching out. It's like reaching out with an opportunity. There's an opportunity here that is being ignored. It's being missed because somebody can't master their emotions. Their emotion, they're too, it's delusional. I do feel as though we have somebody that is going to be going within. They're going to, they're going to be, uh, Breaking free from something. Starting over from scratch. Maybe maybe shutting something down that isn't growing, that isn't uh, going anywhere because of that temperance and the uh, Empress reversed. 
something is definitely off. Somebody is being challenged to go in a new direction. We do have the end of a cycle. There's disbelief here. There's poor health. There's some sort of illness. We have somebody here that is definitely drained. They're depleted. Um, they've been uh, trying to play it safe. Really trying to play it safe by maintaining the position that they're in. But it's time to take a new approach. Back to that Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that's had an outdated plan. It's no longer um, logical. It's time to go in a new direction. I feel like we have a spur of the moment decision. I feel like we have somebody here that is turning their back on some sort of poor counsel or some sort of, I gotta say, it's a feminine, okay? But this person may not actually be very feminine or they're extremely emotional, extremely sensitive. There's something about sensitivity here, like very, very sensitive. Um, We do have a uh, stepping forward into something new. Closing something down, closing something up. I also feel like there's some sort of hormonal imbalance here as well. We have an individual that is not happy. They're not happy at all. They're in a situation that is not bringing them wish fulfillment. It's not, you know, fulfilling their dreams, right? And something is about to happen. And something is definitely about to happen with that Wheel of Fortune. I feel like we have somebody here that has been very impatient. They've been jealous, possessive, um, forceful. They've maybe been ill, um, unwilling to deal with any type of pain and, and masking the pain masking the pain because they've been hurt so much in the past it's like i don't i don't want to deal with this i just want to it's almost like pretend it's not happening but it is happening it is happening so anyway we have a spur of the moment decision somebody's turning their back on something that they've been trying to ignore okay they've been ignoring and there's been a lot of poor counsel here it's almost like somebody has been uh really focused on other people's advice rather than <coughs> excuse me making the decisions that they need to make for themselves a decision is being made we have somebody here that's at a turning point and whatever it is that they've been trying to avoid, is it feels like it's making them ill or it's depleting them or it's, it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Somebody is turning their back on an individual that is closed off emotionally because this person is no longer giving them anything. There's no more nourishment. There's no, it's like it's not feeding. It's not being fed. The, the, the connection is something is off. There's, there's an imbalance of some sort. There's disharmony. There's no peace. And, and somebody's been foolish to listen to poor counsel when their own intuition has been really speaking to them. And it's just like, I'm just going to ignore my own intuition because I really don't want to deal with the pain that it takes to release whatever this is or to change or evolve. We have somebody here that is definitely going to be going their own way.
We have another individual that just isn't interested. They're not interested. There's some sort of fantasy here. <coughs> and there is pride. There is pride. And I feel like we have somebody here that has been missing an opportunity due to foolish pride. But we do have a turning point. And we have somebody here that is ready to face their fears. They're ready to face the challenges. And they also see that there is somebody here that probably needs help. There's somebody here that needs help and there's somebody that is viewing that sees that they need help. That sees. This could be somebody that is at a distance. <coughs> Four of Wands. Four of Wands is committing making and this is uh, somebody that is t taking sole action to commit to happiness to building a foundation so somebody is going to be building a foundation something is definitely happening it has to do with a commitment it has to do with engagement there could be an upcoming get together that wheel of fortune is something is happening <clears throat> positive there's been some sort of delayed growth due to one's own actions. We have somebody here that is ready. I feel like they're ready even though they're hurt. They've been thinking about it a lot. They're extremely unhealthy. They're ready to commit. They're ready to commit. They're ready to commit. They are. We have somebody here that is making a decision. They're very much afraid. Maybe the timing was off. Maybe they needed to heal from a loss, a significant loss. I do feel like there could be something returning. There could be somebody getting caught. There could be somebody getting clean. Somebody is ready to take a new approach. Something is happening that may be unbelievable. Somebody is, is shutting down. Their, I don't know. Maybe they're shutting down their illusions. They're shutting down their fantasies. They're going to stop listening to poor counsel, you know, and they're going to listen to their intuition, go within and break free, you know, start over, start over. We do have a fresh start here. We have somebody here that is ready to step into new territory. They've been not listening. They've, or they've been not ready or they've been, oh, there's been some serious poor counsel, serious. Somebody has been keeping secrets as well. They've been, they've been, somebody's been ignoring something that they have been involved with or somebody that they're involved with because it's not a good mix. It's not a good match. It's not. They may have filled a void. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. It's a destined event. Destined event. It's the wheel spinning in a new direction. It's a positive change. Somebody could go someplace. They could go to a get-together. They could go someplace. They could be at the right place at the right time. This may be just somebody also. This is, this is taking soul action. You know, this person, like I said, has had some sort of barrier up. Maybe they've been so afraid of commitment or so afraid of change or so afraid of creating something new, you know.
there's some sort of guilt here as well. So I wonder if somebody is feeling guilty. There could also be fear of rejection. Fear of loss, fear of getting hurt, fear of commitment, fear of giving anything. Anyhow, the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands reverse. This is letting something go that is a heavy burden, heavy weight, okay? This is making a conscious change. This is dropping something that will be instant relief. It will bring instant relief. That brings balance. This is an imbalance. This release will restore balance it will uh, it will be so freeing it will be it will be so i feel like we have somebody here that and this you know this could literally be some sort of collapse as well with the ten of wands reversed but i feel like it's somebody that has been holding a grudge or trying to prove something They've been holding on to something for dear life, okay? They've been holding on to it. They have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove. i got to prove that I can do this. I'm not going to give up. because of the, But it's killing them. It's killing them. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, a person, something, anything. I have to prove myself, right? Job, whatever it is. This is making a conscious change it's letting something go or something is being let go this is the end of the road we have somebody here that has been manipulating they may have been blackmailing they may have been uh, slandering or there could be they've been not been listening to a warning they've been uh closed off emotionally they haven't been listening to their gut they've been listening to poor counsel breaking free is imminent here it really is it's time to be loved but we have somebody who doesn't even love themselves and if you don't love yourself you, you, you expect somebody else I mean Self-love comes number one, is number one, is first, needs to be. I do feel like we have somebody here that is going to be starting over from scratch. There's a need to go within. There's a need to go within. There's a need to really dig deep. Go within. What? Somebody has definitely been listen, uh, ignoring their own intuition? What is your intuition telling you to do? Somebody's intuition is telling them to go in a new direction. That is what is going on here. It's clear. But everybody else around them is telling them what? To fight? Don't give up? Don't change? Don't give in. Fight it. All that is doing is causing disharmony and pain. Peace. You want war or do you want peace? Sad. It is sad. It is sad. That's ego. And I saw it here. That's ego wanting to prove. Anyhow, something is happening. Something positive is happening. It is positive because of that Wheel of Fortune. This may be not exactly what you asked for. It may not be, you know, it does lead to wish fulfillment. It does, but it comes after the decision is made. Once you make this decision to step over the edge okay we have step over the edge twice 
okay? Once you make the decision to go after your dreams, once you make the decision to believe in yourself, once you make the decision to uh, expand or step forward and not look back and stop listening to poor counsel and stop listening to people that have hidden agendas and listen to your own intuition, a blessing, there's, there's delayed blessings here, a blessing will come. It's time to make a conscious change. People don't want to hear it. I get it. I got it. I understand. This is your journey. This is your life journey. Is this how... Is this how it ends? There's an opportunity here. There is. An opportunity is being missed because of poor counsel and fantasy and illusion and fear. Anyhow, we have we have somebody here that Oh, we have a sad farewell. Period. Good luck. <laughs>